2023 marked the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement, which brought about um, lasting peace to Northern Ireland following a 30 year period of violence known as the Troubles. The Troubles kicked off towards the end of the 1960s. On the 5th of October 1968, a civil rights march in Derry was stopped by the RUC. The RUC used batons and water cans to disperse the marchers. Things got worse in 1969 with the Battle of the Bogside when rioting broke out following an apprentice boys march in Derry. The British Army were sent to Northern Ireland to try and help deal with the unrest. By the end of 1969, 30,000 Northern Nationalists had fled to the Republic. Brian Faulkner, who was Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, introduced internment. On the 9th of August 1971, 342 people were sent to the Mays Prison. Bloody Sunday 1972 is arguably one of the most significant events of the Troubles. 13 civilian demonstrators were shot by British troops and another later died of his wounds. Demonstrations were held throughout the Republic of Ireland and a mob burnt the British Embassy to the ground in Dublin. In March of 1972, the Northern Ireland Parliament was suspended and direct rule was introduced. Power sharing was seen as the way forward um, and the first attempt to introduce power sharing came with the Sunningdale Agreement of 1973. Power was restored to Stormont and power was shared between the Ulster Unionist Party and the SDLP. Um, the Council of Ireland was set up. However, the Ulster Workers' Council organised a general strike in opposition to Sunningdale um, and this caused the power sharing executive to collapse. In May of 1974, the Dublin and Monaghan bombings were carried out by the UVF. They killed 33 people and injured 300 more. In 1975, internment was abandoned in the hope that this would help ease the violence. Towards the end of the 1970s, there were a number of high-profile assassinations, such as that of Lord Mountbatten. 1981 saw the beginning of the hunger strike crisis. Hate block prisoners went on hunger strike, protesting their prisoner status. Bobby Sands, Kieran Doherty and eight others died. In 1984, the IRA planted a bomb at the Conservative Party conference, which killed four. In 1985, the Anglo-Irish Hillsborough Agreement stated that any change in the status of Northern Ireland would only come about with the consent of a majority of the people of Northern Ireland. Eleven were killed during a Remembrance Day bombing in Inneskillen in 1987. The Downing Street Declaration of 1993 reaffirmed that a united Ireland could only come about with a majority consent within Northern Ireland. The Good Friday Agreement of 1998 stipulated an IRA ceasefire, the creation of an elected assembly in Northern Ireland and cross-border bodies that would encourage cooperation between North and South. In August of 1998, the real IRA, who were opposed to the Good Friday Agreement, set off a bomb in Oma, killing 29 and injuring over 200. In 2007, Ian Paisley became First Minister of Northern Ireland and Martin McGuinness became Deputy First Minister.